You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, GH fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your early edition spoilers for the week of Monday, February 26th through Friday, March 1st. This encompasses the last three days of February sweeps, which is the 26th, the 27th, and the 28th. I know this year it's a leap year. We have a February 29th, but it is not part of the sweeps Nielsen's rating period. So I am going to unpack all of these early edition spoilers for you, but if you have not, please reach out. Down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Side note, I had somebody in the comments ask, is there some kind of YouTube user thing where you use the same words like unpack, dive in? No. What happens is I have some channels that stalk me and pretty much try and copy every single thing I do, including the color of the thumbnails, the way I talk, the things that I that I post about. Yeah. So no, there is not a manual. That's just people copycatting me. Anyway, The thing I always do on GH Early Edition Spoilers is I tell you what's going to happen the rest of this week to give you context for what's going on next week. So let's jump right in. Wednesday, February 21st, we've got some bromancing going on. We've got Cody Bell back with Damian Spinelli. I am really enjoying their dynamic. And Spinelli opens up to Cody. Of course, he's very nervous. I mean, he and Maxie are in a good place. They are friends. They are co-parenting. They are roommates. But let's face it, they're both single as a Pringle. And Maxie is the person with whom he'd like to mingle. Maybe Cody can help make it happen. We also have Ava and Sunny confronting their past on Wednesday. I don't know if they're talking just about the mob hits in general or about the news that her big crazy sister Olivia Jerome was just assassinated by the same person that was shooting at them. That also begs the question of whether Ava might have been a target as well, because don't forget, she was a lady mobster too. And, you know, just because she's retired, that doesn't necessarily mean that she's not a target of whoever this shooter is. We also have Felicia Scorpio helping Lucy Co, who, of course, is very upset about Marty running off. By the way, Michael E. Knight is off the show, so he is not going to be coming back. So, yeah, I guess she's going to stick with Scotty. And Trina is there to encourage Jocelyn. Jocelyn, of course, is very upset about this Dex thing. Carly told her, let him go live his new life. And frankly, I don't think Trina should be patting Joss's back. Trina's boyfriend just died. Joss's boyfriend basically is leaving town to have a better life. I understand both of them got left behind, but one's dead, one's alive. I really hope General Hospital doesn't have Jocelyn's grief displaying is more important than Trina's. We'll see how it goes. We also have Nina revealing something to Carly and Drew, and you know it's going to be that she is the new publisher for The Invader which is going to really upset them because Drew had control over Crimson because it was a property of Aurora Media, but there is nothing, nothing he can do about Nina being a publisher at The Invader because Valentin bought the whole thing. He just bought the whole thing from Sean Butler. He's got control and Nina has him firmly in the palm of her hand. So yeah, I think they are not going to like this one bit, especially since Nina already said she was planning on writing about them. We'll see how that goes. Thursday, February 22nd, we have Sasha telling Cody that he did a good thing. And I'm sure that good thing is trying to get Maxie and and Spinelli closer together. We also have Carly and Drew disagreeing on Thursday. I'm sure that Drew is going to go nuclear, absolutely nuclear, when he hears that Nina not only bounced back, but bounced back in a big way. Not only does she still own her half of the Metricourt, but now she actually has a bigger publishing platform than she did at Crimson. So I think he is going to double and triple down and want to go crazy for revenge. And I think Carly is going to be of the mindset that I don't have time for this. This is exhausting. I don't care. Let's just leave it alone. 
you know, she hit at us, we hit back. Let's just call it a day. Drew is never going to agree to that. Sunny gets together to chat with Lady Mobster Selena Wu. They put their heads together. They are trying to figure out who is gunning for mob bosses. They're both mob bosses. So that is an important thing to figure out. And Jagger messes up what Anna and Dante were planning to do with Cyrus's prison friends. And Maxie and Spinelli have a little moment. I'm excited to see that. Friday, February 23rd on General Hospital, Gregory is prodding and poking at Tracy about something. Maybe it's about not getting worked up about this wedding. We'll see. TJ Ashford has reason to be worried. I wonder if that's something to do with the pregnancy. Sam goes to talk to Liz Weber. You know, Sam's having issues with Danny. Maybe she's going to go ask Liz if she's having any problems with Jake. I hope they don't recite that misleading stuff that Sam has been saying, which is the fault of bad writing about how Jason's genes are making Danny act out. No, they're not. Sam, those are your genes. Those are Cassidyne genes. Those are McCall, you know, con woman genes. Don't blame that on the Quartermains. They have a whole different set of gene pool issues. We also have Christina having a night of romance out with Blaze, which might be interrupted because her mother is headed to town and Sonny faces a big decision. And one big decision he already made, he had Diane personally hand deliver those divorce papers over to Nina. So we'll see how that goes. All right. The following week is February 26th through March 1st. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of that week are the last three days of February sweeps. Spoilers for that week have Blaze's mom, Natalia Rogers Ramirez, showing up in Port Charles, played by Eva LaRue, and she is fabulous. So she's coming into town just as Christina and Blaze heat up. Blaze hadn't come out to her family before because they're Catholic and they're not down with that kind of thing. And I just wonder if her mom, Natalia, is actually going to walk up on them on a date and she doesn't get a chance to come out because she is inadvertently outed. So we'll see how that goes. Things begin to come into focus next week. Several people start to figure out pieces of this who's the shooter puzzle. And if it goes into next week and they don't get it done in those first three days, y'all, this is going to be like a May sweeps thing, which I'm not down for. I want it to be cracked in February sweeps. We have so much buildup coming this next week because Jason Morgan debuts Monday, March 4th. That means this whole next week, the 26th through March 1st, is going to be more groundwork, more groundwork, more groundwork with Liz and Sam, with Carly and Drew, with Sunny, all of that. I want to see what Nina's front page expose that she's planning on Drew and Carly is going to be about. I mean, it's got to be newsworthy for her to get away with it, but we'll see. And I do suspect we are going to find out that Dex is watching and waiting. I don't think he's really hiding out in that safe house waiting on paperwork. I think he may be lying low so that he can keep a watch for any threats to Sonny so he can swoop in and save his life because Dex loves Sonny. I don't doubt that one bit, maybe as much as he loves Jocelyn. All right, those are our early edition spoilers for next week. Thank you so much for listening. We are here talking GH7 days a week. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Drop your comments. Come back soon. As always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 